joyful and blessed. Good morning everyone! This is Mrs. Rose Ann V. Parane, your grade 7 science teacher from Payapa National High School. Welcome scientist! Yes, you will be a scientist again as you will journey in understanding the concept in conducting science investigation. But first, you have to determine the different components that you will be using in conducting scientific investigation. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the components of a scientific investigation. So now, before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare the following. Pen, paper or notebook, and also a comfortable place for you to write your answer, and a comfortable place for you to focus on the lesson. But before we proceed to our discussion proper, let us have our objective for today. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the components of a scientific investigation. So what is then a scientific method? Do you have any idea? Okay, so let's define the meaning of the scientific method. A scientific method is a series of processes for experimentation that is used to explore observation and answer questions. It is a set of procedure that scientists follow in order to gain knowledge about the world. So remember, if you are going to do a scientific method or a scientific investigation, Remember the processes and the procedure. It is like a ladder, step-by-step -step processes. Now, you already have your idea what scientific method is. This time, let us try to dig deeper. What are the step-by-step -step processes of a scientific method? Let's go! Remember the step-by-step -step processes of a scientific method. What, what do I have is letters always on my mind. Q-R-H-E-A-C-R. 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 So this letter represents something for me. Queen Rose Anne hides emerald after Corley runs. Queen Rose Anne hides emerald after Corley run. runs. What does this mean? Q stands for Queen or ask a question. R is to do a background research. H. Construct hypothesis. E. Test with an experiment. A. Analyze data. C. Draw a conclusion. And R. Communicate result. As I've mentioned earlier, we have to try to go and dig deeper. So, let's start or let's go with our first step of a scientific method. Step number one, asking a question. It all, it all begins by asking question. Okay, if you are a keen observant of, or keen observer, you will be asking some questions that you observe from your environment. Bakit kaya umuulan? Bakit kaya ang, ang sun ay sumisikat sa east at lumulubog sa west? 
Bakit kaya places uh, na elevated like Tagay- Tagaytay or Baguio, bakit kaya mas malamig doon? So, in a scientific investigation, the first step or uh, first step in scientific method is to ask a question. Of course, you need to understand that you always have a good question. Pag sinabi natin good question, that is a hot question. What do you mean by hot question? It means like higher order thinking skills. This is referred to the ability to analyze, to apply, analyze, synthesize, comprehend, reason, and evaluate. If that question has the ability to apply, analyze, synthesize, comprehend, reason, and evaluate, then that is a good question. Okay, so let us proceed. The second step uh, to a scientific method is to do a background research. How do we do that? In doing a background research, you have to anchor and you have to connect your question to your investigation. How do we do that? You can have ideas and options. You can write your ideas or you can also research it through the internet. In that way, it would be easy for you to understand how to do your research. Always remember that it is always connected with your question. So, para hindi malimutan and for you to have a guide, isulat muna lahat ng ideas that are running on your mind. And then, if you are searching through the internet, you should print it para meron kang guide visually makikita mo at hindi ka malalayo sa mga tanong mo. Okay, so let us proceed with our third step for a scientific method. Step number three, construct construction of hypothesis. What is then a, a hypothesis? It is a potential answer to the question at hand. So kahit hindi mo pa siya natatry through experimentation, na paper dick mo na ang mga possible nasagot sa mga tanong mo. What is a hypothesis? In constructing a hypothesis, you have to understand that there is also a good hypothesis. Yes, if there is a good question, there is also a good hypothesis. How do we do that? If I do this, then this will happen. That kind of sentence pattern is already a form of a good hypothesis. Why? Because it answers the questions how. And that is a good hypothesis is constructed. Now, if we are go if we are if we already have our hypothesis, let us proceed to our step number 4. Test with an experiment. So, experiment is an ordered investigation that are intended to prove or disapprove a hypothesis. Okay, so why do we need to test with an experiment? It is for us to know if our hypothesis is true or false. Yes, so in doing the experiment, it's not all the time that the procedure could work. Sometimes it could not work. So that is, how, that is how an experiment is done. But this time, let's try to dig deeper. If it is yes, we will proceed to step number 5 of the scientific method. But if it is a no, then we have to troubleshoot the procedure until such time that you carefully check the processes for you to achieve your answer to the problem. 
So now, if you finally accomplish through several errors and several retakes of your troubleshooting of your procedures, then we are going to do the step number five of the scientific method. So what is our step number five? Okay, so this is how it conduct, he conducted the experiment at home. Okay, next, step number five. Analyze the data. Analyzing your data and drawing a conclusion is quite hard when you, when you think. So, kung iniisip mo lang na mahirap to, so how do we do that? Is it complicated? No. Don't worry. It's not complicated. In analyzing your data, focus on your problem. Focus on your hypothesis. And remember your target. Why do you want to do this experiment? Then, revisit your data. For you to be able to, to easily read your data, it could be presented by graph or table. There is a lot of data that we can access to. By drawing a conclusion, you have to understand that it depends on the data that you recorded. And then, the, last, the, next, the next step Step number six, this is not the last because we have step number seven. You have to draw a conclusion. So how do we do that? Let me help you. You can start with a sentence pattern, therefore. And then, you can continue your sentence. For example, therefore, you have to be accurate in making your measurements for a kite for it to fly. Or, that, that is already a good conclusion. Or you can say, a kite can fly if and only you have the right measurement for it to fly. So, those are the examples for you to make your conclusion. Then, let's go to the final step. Step number seven. Communicate your result. It is very important for us to communicate our results. So, how do we do that? Of course, we have to share this idea. Share it with your friends or with your teacher. Tell them uh, your hypothesis. Tell them your materials that, that has been used in the experiment. How you gathered the information or how you gathered the data. And then how you analyzed it. And then you, can, you come up that particular conclusion i hope this uh, tips that i gave you will help you in doing your scientific investigation now it's time for us to have a review okay so let me ask you what is the first step in scientific method correct good job step number one ask a question how about the second step aha correct do a background research how about the third step wow amazing Construct hypothesis. How about fourth step? Yes, correct. Test with an experiment. How about the fifth step? Very good. Analyze data. How about the sixth step? Yahoo! Draw a conclusion. And the final step. You made it! Great job! So the seventh step is communicate result. 
So this is the end of our discussion. Always remember that there are scientists. There are always a scientist within you. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please click the subscribe button. Hit the like button and share. If you have something to ask, drop a comment on the comment box down below. Thank you so much. God bless.